CP train effect. How this is done is you open up a normal image and you're going to add two adjustment layers to it and that'll give you the CP train effect. There's many ways to do it but this is one of the easiest. So to start off, press D on your keyboard just to make sure that your colors go back to black and white. If that doesn't happen, just double click on this color swatch down here. Okay, go to file, click on open, open the image you want to use. I'm going to be using this barn image. Click open. Once that's open, what you're going to do is go down to the bottom where you've got your adjustment layers. You're going to click on that and you need to click on gradient map. So you can see that's actually made a nice gradient map for us. Now the next thing we're going to do is add another adjustment layer. So we click on the adjustment layer there. This time we're going for solid color. Now I'm going to choose a nice color that gives you that sepia tone effect. So for the R part it's 204. For the green it's 153. And for your blue 51. Now you can choose any color that you wish, but I like this one the most. Once that's selected, we're now going to go to our layer blend mode and we'll change that to color. And what that does now is it now gives you a nice CP tone over the whole image. If you decide you want to change the color, just double click on this color square here for your CP tone and you can choose different colors. Very quickly, let's see how they go.